Okay, hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This mirror is gonna cause some problems. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, we're going to be doing a get ready with me and as you saw by the title, I got curtain bangs. So we gotta figure out how I'm gonna style that because I don't know, I tried two different ways, or not, no, I did the one way, I tried one way that Brad Mondo showed me when I was getting my curtain bangs. That's what we did, but it wasn't vibing and I ran out of time so I couldn't like finish it. I just kind of like did it, I don't know. So I've got some ideas on how we're gonna do this. Um, but the idea, I have one idea, but I mean, I have like multiple ideas, but like, I'm really thinking of the one idea right now. Okay, so my idea has reverted to this round brush. I'm thinking that we just like, and then we like do it this way maybe, just to give it some like volume and then we like do it this way. And then we just do it like this way, I don't know. That's my idea. That's my idea. Um, but before we get into all the fun stuff while I brush out my hair, um, I've got to also wash my face still. But, um, what was I going to say? Oh, updates. I've been gone for a while. Y'all must be wondering, Tylee, where have you been? Um, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I've been weirdly busy. So let me update you on the projects I've started. First thing, I am now part of the dance ensemble for the Adams Family Musical at my school. This, what was I saying? Anyway, so I'm part of the Adams Family now, which is fun. I'm an ancestor and I'm dancing and it's great. I love it. It's super fun. I've also am working on my movie at my school. I'm a part of a media conservatory and we're all making movies, which means my weekends are like jam packed with like video production stuff. I am going to be doing a YouTube video where I take you guys through my movie making process of my movie. So I will show you guys like me doing a bunch of stuff that it takes to make a movie basically. Um, and I will have probably someone be filming while we make the movie, make, uh, you know, whoever my assistant, my assistant is, um, what was he? I don't know, my assistant, I don't know why I said that. Anyway, so that's a thing that's been going on. I'm also choreographing a dance for a solo for my, a competition I'll be doing, um, at a high school in Utah. I'm going to be driving out to do that. Um, you didn't do a competition. Basically, I'm doing a solo competition and I'm kind of stressed about it because I've made it to them that competition dance or the dance that I'm going to, uh, that I entered in the competition is also going to be featured in my movie for like a very short clip. Um, that way that, one, because it could be cool for me to be in it and because um, it will push me to get it done because I've realized that I've put way too many commitments and all of those commitments are in April. Adam's family is in April, the competition is in April, my movie's being made in April. So yeah, so it's like, it goes my movie, Adam's family, and solo competition, like back to back, which means I am going to have a really stressful time. But I am going to be trying to do some more YouTube videos that are a lot more like vlog based, I'm thinking, and a lot more stuff like this, like more get readies with me's, more, more like stuff that I would have to do in order to like, you know, live my life and I'm just recording. You know, like adding an extra like 10 minutes in order to like record and like talk to you guys as I do things rather than just like, you know. So like I've got my grad photo shoots coming up um, next or this Sunday. So I will be doing a get ready with me with that. So I'm sorry that there are so many random get ready with me's. I'm going to be filming some routines, like morning routines, night routines. I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. I think I've got some other fun stuff maybe that I could record. I think I'm going to start vlogging too, just like randomly vlogging. I think I'm going to do like, I vlog my life and like this person edits. I think I'm going to do, oh, I want to do one that's like a uh, day in the life, but it's a short film. So I wouldn't be talking to the camera directly ever. I'll just be like setting up the camera and then just like doing my life and the just while having the camera film me because I feel like I could edit that really cool like it was a short film and I feel like that could be fun that could be fun anyway so I'm gonna wash my face really fast so I've washed my face um now I've got to brush my teeth it's really boring play by play but okay. we are lotioning my face now um so now let's get into my hair a little bit more but um, anyway, I went to the mall a little bit ago and I got my dress for my grad photo, so that's gonna be really exciting. And I got some new bras. I know that's probably like TMI for like, ooh, my YouTube channel. 
but uh, I don't really care that much because I was really excited about it and I wanted to share it. Anyway, this is just some some uh, heat protectant. Heat protectant. I need to get a new one because this one like low key uh, is just like not the one that I wish I was using all the time. But I had it already because my mom had gotten it for me. But you know, it's really just the bangs that I'm like most worried about getting like some heat damage because I will be using the blow dryer a lot more on my bangs than I would on like anything else. But we're gonna blow dry my hair because I've got like a bunch of stuff. Because I've got Because I'm filming a ton of different stuff today. At least that's the goal. I'm I'm supposed to be hanging out with my friends later, um, which I am actually. I have to drive my sister around and then I'm hanging out with my friends. And uh, anyway, long story short, I have to blow dry my hair because I'm not in it. I'm very impatient. I'm gonna move into the bangs a bit now. So what the Brad Mondovit did, she just he just like combed all them forward. I'm gonna try to get. I don't know whatever's not bang back there. And then what I'm thinking is like this thing with the curling iron, with the curler, and maybe like this. It's the way my shirt is like so wet right now. Okay, let's try this. How do I? You know what? I don't know why I thought that was gonna like work. Um, because I saw, if you guys watch Euphoria, she did that kind of in one of, like kind of, like not really, but like she had her bangs like, I don't know, curled behind her. I don't know, it was really weird. Anyway, we're gonna do this again, but the way that I was thinking, I don't know what I'm thinking right now. This is not working the way that I want. Um, Cause this one's like completely straight and then this one because I've been messing with it is like curling inward. I'm not sure why and how to get it to go back. So I just wet it again because I don't like what it's doing. And it always does that too, it always tries that way. I'm like, why? Okay, so let's think guys, physics. How do we make it go I'm gonna look up that Brad Mondo video. That is not the fringe, right behind the ears. That way it does not get in your way as you style. Now, Miss Manny Queen doesn't have any ears, so I'll be clipping the hair back. And you can do that as well if you want. Okay, now with the blow dryer, I am going to put my heat setting on the second setting so it's not completely hot and not completely cold, as well as the air setting on the second setting, which is kind of medium um, airflow. That'll give us time to really create that bevel in the hair and not have it dry up too quickly. So if your hair is really, really wet and your hair is not too frizzy and too curly, um, definitely consider just drying it like 80% dry before you start. And that is just like this. So you're just gonna take the blow dryer and push it back and forth, back and forth like that until it's 80% dry. Okay, now we're taking the round brush. What you're gonna do is place it underneath the entire fringe section like so. Once you have that like that, you're gonna follow the brush with the blow dryer and give it a little spin at the bottom and bring it back up. Blow dry it down and all the way to the ends and just keep going until it is dry. Now we're gonna make sure there's just a tiny bit of dampness left over because after that we'll be styling it another way off to the side. That way you don't get any sort of flyaways at the top and things sticking up at the top. As you can see, as I blow dry, I am directing the hair down. Unless you want like serious volume, you can direct it upwards, but I don't want like a super sensitive blow.
idea if that worked well or not but it's gonna have to be like good enough it's still curving inward and i don't know how to make it stop doing that um if you guys have any tips for me please let me know okay well this might have to be it for today because i'm really confused on how in the world i'm supposed to do that with the limit that i have because like this is what it's looking like but we're gonna do my makeup and then maybe we'll try some more but they're not listening to me the way i want they're all curling inward okay well now that i'm like super annoyed because my bangs won't do the way go the way i want we're gonna put some makeup on I'm gonna put on some, I don't know why I started with mascara. I usually don't put on uh, eyeshadow, but I'm gonna put on eyeshadow today. We're gonna use the Too Faced White Peach Palette and we're gonna be using the Peach Suede. This one, Let's see if it will show you, that one. So we're gonna use some of that because it's like my favorite one, clearly, because I use it like all the time. But I think I'm just gonna use this one and then maybe like a darker shade in my crease. Yeah. We're gonna do, now we're gonna move on and use Sweet Fig, which is this one over here on the corner. And we're just gonna put that one kind of like in my crease. I don't know, there's that. And then I'm gonna do my lashes. I'm just gonna curl them and then put on some mascara. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that you're not supposed to curl them after using mascara, but I'm going to. I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Mascara and then I'm going to curl them again because this one always gets like weirdly clumpy but it still makes my lashes look good. So I have to like kind of like curl it again or I always like try to get off all like as much of the mascara as I can because it always makes it clumpy for some reason. But I still like it for some reason. I'm not sure why and I just said it's for some reason like four times. Okay, actually today it looks really good. We do not need to curl it again. Yay to that. Wow. Okay. So that's done. I'm going to lightly hairspray my hair real fast. And she's looking like really frizzy on top. And I don't know why. Okay. Lush time. I kind of want to use the stamp today because I haven't used the stamp in a minute. So let's do the stamp because it's fun. I honestly like hate putting on um what is it called uh foundation or anything because it just like sucks like who who wants to do that not me i'm just gonna use my fingers to blend it we're making some pretty good progress uh, my bangs aren't bad like i've been wearing them like this for like a couple days now and it's actually like doable but it just, I can't get them to go the way that my inspo was like coming from, you know? But that's okay. That's, that's okay. Me, I'm just, I'm accepting things lately. Just trying to accept and move on. Okay. We're going to grab a little bit of a bronzer that I haven't used in forever. But I'm going to grab a little bit of it and put it on top of my blush because it's slightly overbearing but like i don't know just trying to boop, boop, boop. boom so we got some of that i'm gonna highlight a little bit i'm thinking i'm thinking i'm gonna highlight a little bit we're gonna use the fenty beauty diamond bomb one because i like it it's pretty so we're gonna use that and i'm just gonna highlight in the normal highlighting locations aka my cheekbone i'm also gonna do my creases in my eyeballs my eyeball creases like bangs are in my face anyway eyeball creases keep the bow in my nose okay all highlighted and then i have a 
couple different glosses and I'm like, do I gloss today? Do I gloss anyway? I think I'm gonna gloss, but I think I'm gonna do just my Morphe 2 because my Morphe 2 is great. And I think I'm gonna like put some give my lips some color with a Burt's Bees tinted balm. That's what I'm thinking we're gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna spray my face. Setting pout. I mean setting spray. Okay, we are setted. Now we're gonna fill in my lipis. With some color. That is done. We're gonna take this one with me when I leave. See, like my bangs just are like, for some reason, like this is how I want them. Like, like this. Okay. So, I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, Please just, I don't know, tell, show me to your friends because I've got a lot of fun videos planned and I know that I've been MIA for so long, but I've got a lot of fun things that I'm hoping to get out soon. But I hope you guys like it. Please give it a thumbs up. As I already said, last but not least, have a good day, have a good night, have a good evening, or whenever you're watching this, bye. That felt so good to say.